So Thomas, we're now at our high-tech test bench with our V8. As you can see, there are hundreds of cables attached here. The green cables are all the thermocouples we use to measure the temperatures. The other cables are used to measure the pressure in the cylinder. We actually measure the current combustion pressure. We measure the lower pressures with these tubes, so the test bench is fully equipped and has the complete range of modern measuring technology. Now tell us about the V8 special features. This is a classic 4-liter 90-degree bank angle. In other words, the cylinder heads and the cylinders are spread at a 90-degree angle. We see here a classic V8 construction with the cylinder heads at the top, bank 1 and bank 2. We have high-pressure injection nozzles located here at the side. The injector is incredibly fast. It opens and closes in less than a millisecond and measures the fuel in precise micrograms. We can also inject several times in the course of one engine start. That is precisely the reason why we have such an enormous performance yield, while at the same time having such a low consumption. This engine is quite special. We utilize a dry sump setup, which allows for an active oil distribution. The suction pumps are located under the engine. They transport the oil actively into the tank located on the outside and then from there back again into the cylinder head via the pressure stage. When racing, this is a big advantage, of course, because there you are dealing with strong lateral forces. A completely new concept, the hot inside V of the turbo loader located on the inside. The turbine and the catalytic converter are very close together. This allows the catalyzers to work extremely fast. When the hot side is inside, then the cold side is outside. The intake air comes through here, cooled by the charged air cooler into the engine. Wow, super. Let's take a look and now start the engine. The advantage of the test bench is that we can achieve results that can be reproduced. Completely isolated from outside influences, we can repeat the same processes again and again and thus obtain results that we can compare. A continuous engine run is carried out for 400 hours, a function test for 50, and an application test for 1,500 hours. We have more than 200 temperature sensors at the test bench and up to 100 pressure sensors. At full rotational speed, we pump 400 liters of coolant per minute through this engine, the equivalent of 400 cartons of milk. We have another oil cycle here through which we pump 70 liters of oil a minute. We can set the temperature to 50, 70, 120 degrees centigrade and thus really take it to its limits. You can really add a bit more load. During the development process, we check all components to ensure they meet our extremely high qualifications. Our development and testing process is executed over and over to make certain all components have long-term durability. We check the results to identify any component shortcomings. If necessary, we make adjustments for the next cycle and test them again. Only when the result is satisfactory and all tests passed do we release components for use in the engine. So, Thomas, let's take a look at the engine after the continuous run. Everything worked perfectly. Excellent. Look at the bearing. It all looks really good. A nice, even wear pattern. Let's take a look. We're here in the finding room. After the completed test run, we take the engines apart so that all the specialists and the engineers responsible for the individual components can analyze their specific parts in peace and quiet and with the necessary equipment and assess them as to how they look and whether they came through the process well. As far as the bearings are concerned, mainly the engine running patterns are inspected to see if there is any washing out or any not completely homogeneous wear pattern. But, as you can see here, after running for 250 hours, there is an extremely good running pattern. Wonderfully consistent. It looks excellent. 
You simply have to soak up the spirit of the workplace here and transmit this into the components. Look at the gear wheels, no comparison to before. That's incredible. Each of our engines is assembled by one mechanic. Imagine that. He assembles the engine and then signs with his name in the form of a small engine plate. He thereby guarantees the quality and confirms that he has given his very best to the assembly of this engine. We are extremely proud of this, one man, one engine. And it's not just we that are proud, but the whole company. Our skill lies in the fact that we keep on developing to the very limit. Daimler stands for quality, style and high value. And our performance here at AMG adds that final touch. And that's what we pass on to our customers, who expect and get top performance on the road.